Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about eight Google Pixel settings you should turn off now. And we're going to accomplish two main goals by changing just a few things in a few minutes. We're going to save battery life and we're going to protect your personal privacy. Let's dive in. Yeah, so everything's going to be in the settings app. I'm going to swipe out from the middle of the screen. I have settings in the most recently used bar at the top, but you can also just find it down here in alphabetical order. First three settings are all in privacy, so I'm going to tap privacy. I'm going to tap advanced, and then I'm going to tap ads, advertising. Right. People, companies love to collect information about you to deliver you very targeted ads. Right. Every time you visit a website, open an app, an auction runs. The point of opting out here is that we're going to make you less valuable to those advertisers. Mm -hmm. So they say that you won't see fewer ads, but the truth is you might see fewer ads because eventually companies will stop bidding on you if they don't know that you're valuable. So... Opt out. Yeah, well, we're gonna turn that switch on. I know this is settings to turn off, but you're right. turning this setting right. on to, to turn to, off to, ads personalization. Exactly. Opt out of interest-based ads, okay. Well done. The next thing we're gonna do is turn off unnecessary app permissions. Things like camera, contacts, microphone. Do certain apps actually need to be able to access these things on your Google Pixel? Right. Sometimes Instagram might need the camera to take pictures. Right. Your bank doesn't need access to your contacts, for right. example. So I'm gonna tap back. And I'm going to scroll to Permission Manager. And for instance, I'll just tap on camera. Look to these apps. Do these apps need access to your camera? Amazon Shopping, does that need access to my camera? Probably not. Probably not. So what you can do is you can tap on Amazon Shopping and just tap deny or ask every time. This is more of a concern for apps that may not be as reputable as an app made by Amazon, but sometimes a Third-party developer might have an app that has access to all your photos, and they could be sending your photos to their servers in the background without your knowledge. So these settings are important. Yep. Next thing we're going to do is turn off sending diagnostics and usage data to Google. This will save a little bit of battery life. You can also use a little bit of cellular data if you're not careful. Yep. I'm going to tap back to the main privacy page here, and we are going to scroll down to usage and diagnostics. Right now, the switch is on. Just tap it. Turn it off. Right. Let's keep going. Yeah. Next settings are going to be in settings locations. I'm going to go back to the main page of the settings app here. Right. And I'm going to scroll down and tap on location. As you can see, four apps currently have access to my location. That's neat. We're not the type of people that tell you to just turn off location services or GPS on your phone completely because that would destroy you know, part of the purpose. Part of what makes the Pixel so great is that it knows where you are and can use that information. So we just encourage you to be deliberate and be intentional about which apps you want to allow to use your location. And then there are some things to, to watch out for so you don't run through your battery life all at once. Yeah, so let's tap app access to location. So allowed all the time, Google allowed only while in use, Android Auto, Chrome, and YouTube, and denied. So go through your list of apps, see which ones have access to your location. Do you need this app having access to your location when it's in use or all the time? Right. And especially pay attention to the ones that are allowed all the time, mm -hmm. because that could be accessing your location in the background when you're not using the app. That can run through your battery life faster than pretty much anything else, because GPS takes battery. Yeah, so if I tap on Google here allowed all the time, you know, set it to deny. Yeah. You also might have the option to allow using the app or ask every time when you open the app, so you can decide whether or not it needs location at that time. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to the main location settings page and tap on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning. We recommend turning these off. Right. These could be big battery drains. Your phone is constantly looking around and saying, like, is there Wi-Fi here? Is there Bluetooth here? Is there Wi-Fi here? Why does it need to do that? And it, it can do that even when Wi-Fi or Bluetooth are off. So even when you're not right. trying to connect to Wi-Fi networks or Bluetooth devices, it can still do this. Right. So yeah. we recommend just, we're going to turn these off. Right. Wi-Fi is still going to work. Bluetooth is still going to work on your phone. And you can bear in mind that with any of these settings, they're not permanent. You can go back if something doesn't work right and trust us. It's all gonna work. Final location setting we're gonna talk about is Google location history. Do you want Google saving a detailed list of all the places you go with your Google Pixel? I wouldn't. Right. I'm gonna go back to with the main page of location and I'm going to tap advanced and Google location history, tap on that. Mm -hmm. Plug your Google account. Location history saves where you go with your devices even when you aren't using specific Google service. You personalize maps recommendations based on places you visited and more. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. If you wanna leave this on, by all means, go ahead. There's an auto delete option. Set that to three months, and that way at least you're deleting the data every three months as opposed to every year and a half. 
Right, but we're just going to turn this off entirely. That's what we recommend doing. Yeah, you got to be careful of these recommendations. And, and just remember, Google's a great company, but they don't do this out of the kindness of their heart. They're recommending things to you, but people are paying to be those recommendations. So be careful of this stuff. Yeah, so just tap that switch next to location history. Mm -hmm. You need to scroll down and make the pause button actually tappable. So just going to tap pause. There you go. I think the harder it is to turn something off, the more valuable it is to turn off. It's like finding these little secrets. So we're going to go back to the main page of the settings app, and this one's a, a pretty big one. Install unknown apps. Do you want third-party apps to be able to install other apps on your phone without necessarily your permission? Right. It's like you're having a party, and you invite somebody over to the party. That's like installing an app on your phone. But then you also say to that app or that person, go ahead and bring as many of your friends as you want you to the party. Now, most of the apps are only going to invite reputable people or friends, but some people may bring some unsavory characters, let's yeah. say, and those are the apps that you don't want to have installed. So it's easier just to turn this off. So we'll tap on apps and notifications, tap on advanced, scroll down to special app access and tap on that. Then find install unknown apps. Here you go, here's the list of the apps. So if it says allowed for an app, that means that app can install unknown apps on your Android. We recommend probably just setting these all to not allowed. Yeah, if an app really needs it that badly, it will alert you to the fact that it needs to have this app installed. I am not personally aware of any instances where this is going to make an app not work at all. So just do this to protect your privacy because you don't want a whole bunch of unknown apps showing up on your phone, just like you don't want all those unknown people showing up at your house yeah. for the party. The last setting we're gonna talk about is preferred network type. 5G is becoming more widely available, and on some Pixel phones, the default preferred network type is 5G. However, it's not available everywhere. You might live in an area with poor 5G coverage, and if you have your 5G network preferred, might have some issues. Right, especially battery life issues. To be fair, the Google Pixel 5 and the 4A 5G are two of the most battery efficient 5G phones that are out there. But as David said, if you don't have a good signal or good connection to the 5G network, it's gonna burn through your battery trying to stay connected. Maybe you have perfect 4G LTE coverage, which if you don't have a good 5G signal, is gonna be faster anyway. Yeah, let's go back to the main page of the settings app. There we go, and we're gonna tap on network and internet. We're going to tap on mobile network. And we're gonna tap on preferred network type. Right now it's 5G recommended. There's not a lot of good 5G coverage in our area specifically either. So this is a setting that we'd want to turn off on this phone. Right. We're going to set it to LTE. And there we go. Those are eight Google Pixel settings you should turn off now. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.